Hey everybody, it's Harry from Seven Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. A lot of you like my Walmart brisket video where I took a Walmart brisket and cookie competition style. In today's episode, I'm going to follow up with a viewer request who asked me, Harry, Walmart briskets aren't really well known for being high quality. Can you make it taste better, become more tender, more moist by injecting the Walmart brisket with beef fat? So I've never done something like this before. You see many of my videos where I injected my brisket with a whole bunch of different types of commercial and homemade injection products. So in this episode, I have some beef fat in here. We're gonna inject half the Walmart brisket with beef fat and half without. Cook it up and do a taste test and let you guys know the results. Okay, my crew is here, so we got Nick and then Riley. Hi. Kevin, K Dog, and then of course Mr. Beans. And uh, Kevin has to trim the brisket for the class, and we have uh, all the brisket trimmings here and the brisket uh, uh, pieces. So we're gonna do our uh, episode on my viewers asking me, Harry, can you uh, cook a uh, kind of a take a low quality brisket, make it into a high quality brisket by injecting in beef fat? So beef fat is known as tallow, so this is the tallow. Uh, Kevin did a good job prepping the brisket for the class. That's a competition trim, and you see that in 20 plus of my videos on YouTube. So we're gonna go and render the brisket fat now. And you know, Kevin, maybe you can cut, cut it in small pieces here. Okay, uh, chunks. You know, you, you know, maybe smaller chunks, you know. So we're gonna cut it in smaller chunks here. I'm gonna render it in a pot. Grab some of that beef fat. I'm gonna season the beef fat so that it has a little bit of saltiness. We're gonna put it into the uh, brisket. Use a needle injector, like one of these things here. And then we're gonna inject it into the beef uh, itself. Let's see what happens here. And get rid of some other stuff here. So we need about, uh, maybe about 10 to 12 ounces of beef injection. The beef tallow, uh, or the way the beef uh, is rendered, uh, it's called beef tallow. The melting point is around, I think, 130 degrees. So we're gonna have to inject the beef tallow kind of warm into the brisket. I haven't done a warm injection yet, but that's always the first time, so we'll see what happens. Okay, here we turn the pot on here. Gonna go to a nice uh, warm uh, simmer, get some of the beef fat. There's a lot of beef fat, so we're gonna get a lot of tallow from uh, this batch here. Right, sizzling away. Beans, you smell beef rendering? Does it smell good? The beef uh, is rendering nicely into the uh, beef oil, also called uh, tallow. And uh, I'm heavy under low heat like that. And I see some crispy bits here, and I've taken them some out. I know Beans is going crazy because he smells all this uh, wonderful brisket trimmings here. So maybe what I can do is let it cool down. A little snack here. I have a few pieces here, and um, let's see here. Let's pick a piece that's not too big for him. Okay, it looks like a good piece, right? You want some beans? Huh? Sit, sit, stay, stay. Here. Yummy. Brisket trimmings are good. Mmm, yummy. Delish. See, you're a lucky dog here, you. We rendered a lot of the fat now. Got some cracklings here for beans as a snack. I just want to show you the temperature of the oil so that in case you ask me what is the temperature to render. Uh, we're rendering around 250 degrees ish, and that seems to be the right temperature. Kind of let it slowly cook down and uh, get nice and happy. Uh, so about 260 ish or so. And uh, Mr. Beans is still looking at me here. You want another piece, right? Beans? Carefully uh, throw away the purge. Don't wash away your brisket in the sink. 
towel dry. Put your hand underneath, trim off all the silver skin and the uh, fascia. Let's inject half and uh, not inject the other half. Let me see, the brisket has two muscles. This is the flat and that's the point. Uh, also called the lean and then the fatty. This one is a left-handed -hand brisket because you can see the point muscle curves to the right. So it's sitting on the left breast of a cow. I'm going to uh, see if I can cut it in half because I, I don't wanna, I wanna maintain the cover of control. So the point is here, if I cut the point muscle kind of right down the middle here. I'm gonna be able to get uh, kind of two flat muscles that we can one inject, one not inject, and we can do a taste comparison in the end. So lining my knife kind of right here, I'm gonna cut it right down the middle like so. Here, and right down the center. So I can have half that I can inject, and half that I will not inject. Okay, so we'll pick one piece to inject with my beef fat and uh, we're using a beef fat and an injector to put some beef fat in it. Before I inject the beef fat, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, the beef fat, I just tasted it. It has a wonderful aroma, but it doesn't have any saltiness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the beef fat to get the beef fat to be about 1% by weight of salt. Uh, that's how I season sausages. Uh, when I season sausages, they're usually about 1 to 1.5% by weight of salt. So in this example here, in the experiment, I'm going to try to make the beef fat a little bit salty so that it gives better flavor versus just injecting plain beef fat into the meat. Without salt, the beef fat tastes really, really good. has a lot of flavor, but no saltiness. So let me go ahead and add some salt to it. Try to get the right level of saltiness a little bit better. Uh, but let me try to add more salt here. Just a little bit of salt to get the level of saltiness up. That's about right. About 1% by weight of salt. Uh, kind of like the way you season sausages. That's about right. Let's do about 10 ounces of injection. As I'm injecting, you can see that the uh, beef fat is actually kind of coagulating because of the cold meat. Beef fat is liquid at around, I think about like 95 to 115 degrees, depending on the kind of fat you have. This is rendered uh, brisket fat, so it should be pretty tasty. And uh, I rendered it myself. So we're injecting it now as much as we can and letting the excess ooze up. And about 10 ounces total here. I just want to repeat that uh, I'm injecting salted beef fat. So I put some salt in the beef fat. I think it tastes a lot better than just regular unsalted beef fat. Give the meat a little bit of a flavor with a salty injection. Okay, I think I got it pretty good. Call the little injection marks here. This has coagulated a little bit. Let me clean it off. Get some of my uh, Slappy Daddy Moolah rub on it and we'll put it in the cooker. So when you apply a rub, you always have to shake it so it loosens up the rub before you put it on. Put it on the side here, some on the side. So you can see this is a uh, Walmart brisket. Uh, the, the, the marbling is uh, very, uh, very, very minor. So you can see there's hardly any marbling at all. And uh, it's probably a, uh, a select grade brisket. In America, there's actually eight grades of beef. You probably know of prime choice and select. You may not know that there's a, actually five lower grades. So if you've heard of terms such as a cookie cutter, canner, commercial, those are the some of the lower grades that you don't see in the store. A bit on the side. So. All right, uh, that's it and uh, let me uh, put a toothpick just to make sure that I uh, don't forget later which one is which. I'm going to put a toothpick on the one that got injected. Like so, stick it right here so I can see it. Alright, let's put it in the cooker. 
We're firing up the uh, GMG and uh, took it about 275-ish today. And uh, get the uh, briskets in. Cook it and see which one will taste better. 275 on the Green Mountain Grill. Go ahead and load the brisket here. It's about three hours or so and uh, brisket is ready for wrapping. Okay. okay. Okay, the moment of truth is upon us. And uh, let's go ahead and taste the two Walmart briskets. One injected with beef fat and the other cooked normally. Some slices here. Point area, burn ends. Is the one injected? All right, let's put this pile here, this pile here. All right. The one on the left is the uh, one that was injected with the beef injection. The one on the right is not. Means you have to wait. Gotta wait till I taste test before I let you judge the briskets. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna give it a taste test of the point in the flat and let you guys know the results. Alright, let's see here. This one here is the one that I injected with the beef fat. Uh, not bad. You can see that here. Tender. Uh, a little bit tough. Need the piece here. Mm, not a very good brisket. But that's kind of the quality you get. This one. Oh, this one is tough. So I guess uh, one thing I noticed the injection itself made it more tender. This is more tender than this. So this is less tender. So one thing I learned is that uh, injecting it with the beef fat did make it more tender. It's just slightly better on a flat. Let's try the point now. Not bad. The point is about the same. Uh, both are not that great. Uh, a little bit drier. The kind of the meat quality obviously is not as good as a prime choice. This is just a commodity brisket. Let me go back and taste second round. Measure first impression. The ingestion did help a little bit. Try the point again. All right, folks, I have eaten my way through about three rounds of eating the point and the flat or the lean and the fatty. And um, here's my overall conclusion. You can't wait for the conclusion and want to skip to the end. Uh, the conclusion is, is the beef injection does work. So that's a pass. Uh, qualified pass. Is the beef injection better than the one without injection? The answer is yes, not by a very large margin. So if I had to, to kind of describe this, um, the beef fat injection gave the meat a little bit more moisture. I think the saltiness from the salt I added to the injection before I kind of put it in helped a little bit. It made the meat a little bit uh, kind of tastier. Uh, it's also a little bit uh, less dry than this one here. I compare them side by side. Uh, they, they aren't very good eating. I, I wouldn't call this a, 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 a kind of a, even an acceptable brisket because the, the, of the poor grade of the meat. This one is particularly bad. Uh, when I cooked the previous Walmart brisket, it wasn't so bad, but this one really is bad. So what I realized is that without all the competition tricks that I showed you in the previous video, I just cook it like a regular backyard, just throw it in, wrap it up in foil. It's really, uh, <laughs> sorry, my opinion, not edible. I, I mean, I'm used to a high, kind of a little bit higher level brisket. Uh, some of my viewers will say, well, this is pretty good brisket, Harry. So what's for, what's wrong with it? The injected one, I would say is probably is 20% better. So if, uh, if let's say this was a, was a, was a 10, then the non-injected one would be an eight to give you a sense of the improvement by going to a lot of trouble. Uh, honestly, if uh, in hindsight, uh, between the cost of the injection or the effort of the injection 
versus non-injection, using beef fat. Uh, you know, I'm not, not sure it's, it's worth the trouble because uh, you can get so much better result by using a commercial beef injection or even injecting with beef broth versus using the, uh, the, the beef uh, fat. So uh, it's a pass. Uh, it's better than a conventionally non-injected uh, brisket. The beef fat injection does give it a better uh, texture and a kind of a fattiness than the regular brisket. Uh, is it worth doing it overall? I think the answer has to be no from my perspective because it's a lot, it's a lot of work to render the beef fat, get all that fat out and then try to inject it back into the brisket. Just too much work. Go buy yourself a commercial injection, which is a powder or liquid. Just pour it out and use it. It's a lot faster. Uh, the other thought I had is why bother to go to so much trouble buying a kind of an inferior brisket? Because you know you you might be what paying I don't know maybe two dollars and eighty cents for this level of brisket. When if you pay for a choice brisket, they're running maybe about three dollars and forty cents, three or fifty cents. So in my opinion, for 40, 30, 40 cents a pound times uh, the whole brisket, that's like five dollars. And for five dollars more, you get a certified Angus brisket or even an Angus brisket that's not certified that will still taste better than this. So uh, I, I wouldn't go to the trouble. But if you want, I answer your question about whether you can use a uh, pork fat injection in your low quality brisket. The answer is yes. Does it make it better? Yes. How much? 20% better. So you have to decide if the effort is worth your time and your trouble versus paying maybe three, four dollars more for a brisket that has a higher grade of beef or even you know using the money to get yourself a commercial beef injection. I have a video out there that I revealed uh, six or seven of the commercial ones and I tell you which ones I like. You can go that route and you can go put that into an inexpensive warm-up brisket and you will still get a better result than what I, re what I achieved today. So long story short, uh, Harry says it's a pass, not by very much margin. So enough of me talking. The biggest uh, judge is now Mr. Beans. Are you ready? Okay, we'll get Mr. Beans set up and let him decide which one he likes better. The one injected with beef fat or the ones that not injected with beef fat. So stay tuned. So I prepared the plate and the one on my left, on the camera left, is the one that is injected with beef fat. The one on the right is not. So let's see. Is the beans ready? All right, sit. Uh, go. Uh-oh. Okay. Which one he likes better? Oh, he's going to the other side now. Ah, wow, what a smart dog. He actually tasted the one on the right. Then he went to the one on the left. Then he's going back to the one on the, his left. Tasting all the pieces. So he's actually tasting all four pieces before he decides which one he wants to eat first. What do you think, Beans? Oh boy, you know he's hesitating. I've never seen him hesitate this way. Beans, you realize that this is a low quality brisket? My gosh, I think he does. He says, give me my regular Wagyu and my primes because I can taste the difference. Harry, you are trying to trick me. Am I correct? He doesn't want to eat it. I cannot believe it. Beans, you do not want to eat this brisket I made? Okay, he's going back and trying to test it. He's like, hmm, I'm not so eager. Usually he wolfs it down, but look at today. He's not really wolfing it down. He's like saying, okay, I will try some grudgingly. Okay, he ate, okay, so that, for the record, he ate the one that had the beef injection first. Okay? All right? And he's not interested. He's walking away. More? Okay, now he's going back. No, he doesn't like it. Wow, I can, I'm shocked. This is the first time Beans is not eating the food I gave him. Or oh, he's eating it in a kind of a, you know, like, don't bother me, this is not very good kind of manner. Okay. All right, so there you have it. I don't want to be labeled the point. So Beans doesn't really like it. He's kind of grudgingly eating it, but he's not terribly thrilled. So uh, there you have it. Another video from Slap Your Daddy. This is another one of those uh, view requests I did for you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Tell everybody about my channel. And uh, until the next time, we will see ya.